be ready 5 seconds sir i intended to speak the portion that i am going to speak now preferably at the end but i think i should start my speech by congratulating the honorable minister of railways he has created a history in the sense that he has been elected from odisha in the last 75 years of our independence he is the first member elected from odisha who is heading the ministry of railways he always says that odisha is his karma sthal he knows the nook and corner of odisha very well and why odisha has been neglected in respect of development of railways infrastructure there is some legacy which needs to be corrected now and that is being done recently one of the magazines published in odisha said that when the finance minister presented the union budget after a week or so the railways minister went to odisha and he announced that these are the provisions which have been made for the first time sir i have participated in several railway budget deliberations for the last 23 25 years many times i always wondered whether a train line from balasore to nilgiri road will ever come but the day when he traveled along with the local member of parliament to nilgiri road then i became aware that things are feasible things are achievable under his leadership he also went to the southern part of our state which has been totally neglected for the last so many years there is no infrastructure but that is the most revenue earning area for the railways and from there he announced what steps are going to be taken to improve the railway infrastructure out of 30 districts of odisha still more than 6 districts are yet to see a rail line i think that all those 6 districts will also be covered in future projects there was a minister in the central government in 1980s when he went back to contest election after the 1977 debacle he said that this time fulbani would definitely have a rail line that became a slogan there where did the rail line go now that rail line is being constructed of course it is going on at a very slow pace it needs to be speeded up there are some issues relating to acquisition of land due to the new land 
Acquisition Act. Certain things are getting held up. But I believe that all those things can be sorted out. I would humbly like to say that yes, now we have a double engine. I am mentioning of a news report in a magazine where it was stated that in railways we have a double engine for the development of our state. The Honorable Minister of Railways had recently stated that he is targeting 96.98% operating ratio in the coming year. The leader of the Congress party was also a railway minister and he understands very well about the operating ratio mechanism. I was also the chairman of the Railway Convention Committee which was determining how much money has to be given to the finance ministry. This operating ratio was always a point of discussion with the railways and with the finance during that period of time. Of course, now we have only one budget, but operating ratio actually determines the health of the railways. So, when you are targeting to bring it down to 96.98% in the coming year, that is something praiseworthy. The Honorable Finance Minister, while presenting the budget, had underlined that the Indian Railways would play a critical role as one of the seven engines of PM Gati Shakti Master Plan. I quote her. She said, The PM Gati Shakti Master Plan is a transformative approach for economic growth and sustainable development. What does this transformative approach mean? Is it bringing in PPP mode, which is already there? Or does it mean providing rail lines to private players as it has already been given in some specific areas? So, this needs to be spelt out. The other six engines are roads, airports, ports, mass transportation, waterways and logistic infrastructure. We will be deliberating on ports, waterways and roads perhaps tomorrow. The Indian Railways is ready to go full steam to restore passenger traffic to pre-pandemic levels. In terms of revenue projections, the railways have expected to rack up rupees 61,000 crore from passenger traffic alone. The Honorable Minister of Railways has said that this budget is a historic budget as it provided unprecedented support to the railways in which capital support was of rupees 1,37,300 crore. I believe this is something which is praiseworthy. During the past three years, the budget estimates are continuously being lowered at the revised estimate stage, 
while the actual expenditure nowhere even matches with the reduced RE levels.